Churchill Praise is a lively praise service with modern worship songs and a more relaxed atmosphere than many church services. The service starts at 6.30pm every Sunday and ends around 7.45pm. There is a worship band and we try to use various types of media and technology as we seek to worship God and forge a closer relationship with Him through practical teaching, prayer, music, testimonies and fellowship. Although many people who come are between the ages of 16 and 30, there are a significant number of middle-aged and retired people who find that contemporary worship helps them in their relationship with God. All people are welcome and we hope that if you come to church or praise, you would feel not only welcome, but also part of a close community. St Matthew's Church is very fortunate to have a service which is entirely dedicated to people who speak Urdu. Although known as the Asian Fellowship, the people who meet together for the service are all part of St Matthew's Church. The congregation is led by Pastor Fias. The Asian Fellowship meets every Sunday in the St Matthew's Centre, which is opposite the main church at the top of St Matthew's Close. The service is conducted in Urdu, even though many of the people there speak English as either a first or second language. However, people from all backgrounds are always welcome at the service. The service consists of a mix of lively worship, prayer, teaching and there are also many opportunities for fellowship. The people who attend form a close community of believers yet are always looking to welcome new people into this wonderful community of faith. Hi, I'm Colin Gibson, I'm the Rector here at St Matthew's, been here six years now and uh, thoroughly enjoying being part of St Matthew's along with my family, my wife Elisa and our four kids. I think I'd have to say the people are great. We've had some issues ourselves, um, we just actually had a, a very difficult um, health problem in the family and the way people have rallied around and prayed for us and given to us and supported us has been absolutely fantastic. So if, if you join us at St Matthews at any time, I hope our people would rally around you in the way they've rallied around us. Their support has been really great. We've got some lovely people here. My vision is to be an Acts 2 church. And for those of you who aren't sure, for people who don't really know what do you mean an Acts 2 church? None do with carrying axes around. It's to do with a book of the Bible called Acts and that talks about the early days of the church. And it describes how the church is as God really wanted it to be. I know a lot of people think, Ugh, church, you know, boring, irrelevant, all those other things. But the Acts 2 church was a church that was full of awe because people were aware of God's presence amongst them. It's a place of a great love for one another it's a place that just grew all the time because people couldn't keep away. They loved it and they, they just wanted to be a part of it. And they saw amazing things happen amongst them through God's presence with them. So the thing I most want for St Matthews is that we would be a church like that. Like that early church as God wanted it to be. If they're thinking of joining, I'd say give it a whirl. Why not? What have you got to lose? Uh, come along, uh, we've got a variety of different services, so if you don't like the first one you go to, try a different one. But meet some of the people. I very much hope that you would meet with God here, because in the end that's what we're about as a church. And obviously if, if people aren't meeting with God, then we're, we're not quite in, in the right business. I do remember 
my own days before I was a Christian, I thought going to church, it was the last place you'd find God. I thought you actually had to go out to Timbuktu or Nepal or somewhere like that and climb high mountains and meet a uh, thousand year old gurus or something like that if you wanted to find God. I was absolutely flabbergasted and amazed when I went along to my own local church and heard about Jesus and found that I could meet with God there. So I'd say if, particularly if you're somebody who feels an emptiness in your heart and in your life and you're trying to find some way to fill it, I think your answer could well be Jesus Christ. So I'd say give it a try, see if you can find him here. Jesus said that he is the way that we can see the Father. If we want to know the Father, we can come to him and to him. Please do feel free to get in touch with me. If there's anything you'd like to talk over with me or with somebody else on our staff for that matter, we'd be delighted to, to listen, to hear what you have to say. Um, we hope we'd be an understanding and, and helpful church. And uh, so, yeah, please feel free to share with us any stuff that's on your heart. We believe that you matter to God, that God loves you, and you know if, if there are issues about that for you we, we'd love to hear what those are and, and do do the best that we can to be there for you okay. uh, my name's joe uh, the reason i went to alpha course is that because i've always believed in jesus but to be honest i didn't really have a deep faith uh, i think the reason i believed in jesus was because when I was a child, I went to Sunday school and I think the indoctrination was from there. So I decided to go on an Arthur course to just restore my own faith and try and get a bit of deeper feeling as to why Christianity is what it is. Right, my name is Val. I went on the Alpha course to learn more in depth about Christianity and about Jesus. I've always been a Christian and I've been confirmed, but I wanted this feeling that people are supposed to have from the Holy Spirit. I think I've gained that from the Alpha course and um, now we go to church regularly, which I enjoy very, very much. So all in all, I'm very glad that I did the Alpha course. What else do you do when you're at church on a Sunday? Oh, we go to um, Sunday church. What's that? Um, it's like um, we read the Bible and then we do some coming. Okay, and who does that? Who leads that? Oh, um, one of us and then Steve does it sometimes. Okay, and uh, do you enjoy that? Yeah. Do you enjoy going to, what was it called, children's church? The, um, yeah, children's church. Okay, and do you enjoy going to that, Scarlett? Yeah. Yeah? Good. That's probably a good answer. What about you? Yeah. What do you like about it? Uh, we can do some colouring. Do what? Colouring. Colouring. Okay. And sometimes they get up at the front of church, don't you? And Colin gets you singing. Yeah. Do you enjoy that? Yeah. yeah. And I like running around all the way down. <laughs> okay, give the camera away. Hi, I'm Kaz, um, I'm 18 and I've been coming to St Matthews for about three years. Um, I was invited by a friend um, on the off chance I was non-Christian and I went along and loved it and I haven't looked back since. Um, we were involved in JCU which is like a Christian union and um, yeah it's really good, I recommend St Matthews highly. Yeah, I'm Chris, I'm 18, I'm one of the leaders from JCU and on and off I've been uh, le le leading St Matt's uh, with the worship and with um, like the service as a whole. I love the welcoming atmosphere that you get and I love the people that are there. This is why you should come. Um, my name is Ben, I'm 18. Um, I think uh, St Matthew's is, is, gives a great opportunity for people to um, discover their potential and to uh, get deeper into a relationship with God. Um, I really enjoy my time there, so I'm glad that I go. Uh, hi, I'm Lars. Um, I came to St Matthew's through a friend I was invited uh, about three years ago. Um, I'm heavily involved in the worship, I probably play every week. Um, and I uh, love it how everybody rips it out of me from my hair every week. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> The, the best part of the evening service that I find personally uh, is the worship, which I find really uplifting and encouraging. 
Hi, I'm Amy. We're part of a cell that meets each week. There's lots of cells. We go to an 18 to 30 cell and we meet for fellowship, Bible study and discussion and it ties in with the service on Sunday. There's also quite a big social side to it so we'll arrange um, to go out for special events and celebrate people's birthdays and go for curries and um, yeah that's a really important part of it too. I'm Marion. <laughs> We come to St Matthew's because the Lord brought us here, that's really true. And that was in 1974. And God just said, we want you here, you know, I want you here. That's why we're stuck in, <laughs> in good and bad and uh, encouraging years and others. Yeah. So Keith, who was a lay reader already from Africa, became a lay reader here. And then, years and years later, I became prayer guide, which is a lay minister. That we, uh, we actually enjoy people and enjoy welcoming people in church and we enjoy being with people in church. Um, <laughs> we've, we've been involved in quite a bit, haven't we, with prayer ministry and things? Yes. Have we got any testimonies, any kind of, from the prayer ministry that you'd like to share? Well, we've seen a lot of people healed in St. Matthew's and through prayer ministry and just God acting directly. Keith has received healing himself of his neck. Our daughter was healed from deafness. I've been healed from traumatic memories and we've many times from bad headaches through prayer so yeah it's we have <laughs> five years ago i re received dramatic healing and um, i've been suffering from rheumatoid arthritis and fibromyalgia for three or four years and uh, it was really really bad and some of my medication had been <laughs> taken off me because of side effects um, and consequently the pain um, that I was suffering was tremendous I couldn't couldn't stand up I couldn't do anything housework um, shopping everything was out of my reach and a friend phoned me on, on Saturday night and it was in April five years ago and asked me if I'd had prayer and I said well yes but you know it's not worked and she had a, um, a reading for me from James um, about healing and uh, she said if you don't ask for prayers for Mark tomorrow I'm going to ask for you so I asked for prayer on Sunday um, and it was arranged that I would have um, prayer and anointing on the Sunday evening um, which I did um, my husband Alan came with me. There was me, my husband, and one reverend and two elders, maybe people. And they asked me what they, I wanted Jesus to do, and I said I want him to take away the fear because I really thought that I'd got cancer because my dad had, had just died from cancer of the esophagus and some of my symptoms like that. And I was scared, so they prayed against fear start off with and, and then I said I just want the pain to go away so they anointed me and prayed and it was the most amazing thing that um, it was like water flowing through my body and as it flowed through my body so the pain went the very last bit of part being my hands and the next day I got out of bed with no pain at all and the week after that I went to Cannock Chase with my grandson and raced him up the hill which was unthought of and a, a little while afterwards my husband shared with me that because he was unsure about praying for somebody in this situation and um, God had given him a vision so what was happening to me he actually saw in a vision and he saw like liquid coming into my head and flowing through my body and washing out um, so God actually um, spoke to him as well in that same thing. 
and I went on to train as a lay reader and God uses me and God's amazing. So, it's my story.